So we're talking about our diaphragm, and what I want you guys to know about the diaphragm is there are two parts of your diaphragm. There's a part that's called the crural part, C-R-U-R-A-L, that controls your breathing, and a part called the costal part, C-O-S-T-A-L, that controls reflux. If anyone out there has a reflux problem, you get heartburn, you get phlegm in your throat, have to clear your throat a lot, swollen vocal cords, this is a great exercise for you to try. First, we're gonna find where our diaphragm actually is. We need to hook our fingers up underneath our ribs here. So you want your fingers curling around that edge of your rib. When you inhale, your fingers should get pushed out and as you exhale, you should be able to sink your fingers up a little further. You're going to get your fingers around that surface, trace it down a little bit like this. It actually goes all the way around to your back. But for this exercise, you need your hands staying there. The rest of your hands is going to rest right on the ribs right there. What you're going to do is fully exhale, pressing in with your hands. Once you're there, you're going to swallow. Then you're going to inhale, still pressing in, and you're going to swallow. There should be some resistance with your hands. So as you exhale, I'm pressing in and hooking my fingers up under there. Once I'm all the way out, I swallow. Inhale, I press in, inhaling against resistance, and once I'm there, I swallow. I do like five reps of that in and out. By doing the swallow and then the breath, you re-coordinate your diaphragm. People who have reflux, there's confusion going on in the two parts of your diaphragm. They're not working well, so you need to separate the function. I breathe, I swallow, I breathe, I swallow, so that I get my diaphragm working properly and I stop having reflux problems.